Hey everyone, uh, we're going to have a little discussion video today. We're going to be talking about The Legend of Zelda 35th Anniversary, which for those who don't know, comes up here on February 21st. Now, I don't think Nintendo is actually going to announce anything for the 35th anniversary of Zelda uh, before that date or even on that date. In fact, even if they put out a tweet about it, I would be highly surprised. I think they are going to celebrate the 35th anniversary of uh, Zelda, but they're going to do it after the 35th anniversary of Zelda lands. And that is because they're going to be currently running the 35th Mario anniversary all the way through March 31st of this year. So after that, I think, is when Nintendo might start to ramp up, a.k.a. this summer, uh, ramp up some stuff with Zelda. And I know we want Metroid, we want Donkey Kong's 40th celebrated, Metroid's 35th celebrated, but I think that it's going to be Zelda, and that's going to be what gets the attention this year while the others get ignored. I'm sorry, but this is just what Nintendo does. Potentially, you could see a Metroid Prime uh, HD trilogy or something like that to celebrate the 35th of Metroid, but I, I don't even know if we're going to get that this year. That might even be stretching it. But I do want to focus on one thing and one thing only, and that is the... 35th anniversary of Zelda, the potential of a collection pack. Essentially, the Legend of Zelda 3D All-Stars. Be sure to enter our giveaway for a PlayStation 5, Nintendo Switch, or Xbox Series X. Boop, boop. Um, there's the uh, details on how to enter that down in the description or the pinned comment. Let's move on. <laughs> Uh, they're not going to call it that because that All-Stars name clearly was an homage to, uh, you know, the All-Stars game on the SNES. But it's going to be some sort of collection, uh, 35th anniversary collection pack or whatever they decide to call it. And we're talking about it because of some stuff that happened over on, on Reddit. And it really made me want to talk more about Zelda. And any excuse to talk about Zelda is good. So first of all, let me show you just some stuff I saw on Reddit. So first up, you have uh, this custom, hold on. I just, I just clicked off it. Uh, this custom Switch dock. I think this art looks really, really cool. You know, it says his sister uh, did this. So I, I think it's really neat. Uh, but that's not really why we're talking about I just wanted to show off this little piece of fan art. Uh, this. So here's one mock-up box art. This is not the one I am using uh, in my thumbnail. But I find this to be cool. Uh, just a, an idea of what a 3D collection could be. Uh, where they do Ocarina of Time 3D, Majora's Mask 3D, and then The Legend of Zelda Hero of Time. I don't know what that's a reference to. Um, I mean, Hero of Time is from, you know, whatever. Maybe that's what they're calling this collection. Kind of a two-pack collection. I don't think this one's what's likely. Uh, I don't think we're going to get 3DS ports, unfortunately, uh, or fortunately, depending on the way you look at it. But this is the box art I'm using, and this, I think, is the most likely direction of the collection pack so uh you see twilight princess uh in there that it'll be the hd version from wii u you see the wind waker hd those are obvious choices they're also wii u ports we haven't gotten yet to throw them together in a collection makes sense and then you're seeing ocarina of time there and the reason to believe that ocarina of time is going to be there is because of super mario 3d all-stars if you think back they hd emulated basically all those games including mario 64 so i could see an hd emulation of Ocarina of Time from the N64, not the 3DS. I don't think they're actually going to do anything with the 3DS version uh, this time around. And I do like the custom logo they made here at the Legend of Zelda 35th anniversary. I think it's a really cool custom logo. But honestly, that is the direction I think they're going to go because you're taking three really popular games. One of them is Eiji Anuma's Darling. The other one, Twilight Princess, is one of the best-selling games ever made, uh, for Zelda anyways, before Breath of the Wild came out. And then Ocarina of Time is obviously an all-time classic, uh, like Mario 64. So it would make sense to make that as part of the collection pack. Personally, I'd rather this be Twilight Princess HD, The Wind Waker HD, and Skyward Sword HD. I mean, look at this. Look how gorgeous Skyward Sword looks like in HD on an emulator. I think if you're just going to do emulation HD... Skyward Sword fits the bill incredibly well. I know there's some people that worry about how are the motion controls going to translate. Well, for starters, the Switch has motion controls, so you can literally just use the Switch's motion controls. But uh, in the case where you want it playable in portable mode, obviously you need to adjust things. And people have already shown through modifications on a PC that you can adjust all of the motion controls to control sticks. Now, is it as good as the motion controls? I don't know, might be better for some people who had issues with the initial motion controls, but I would like to see it be a Skyward Sword in there instead of Ocarina of Time. This isn't because 
I, you know, some people might point out, oh, I don't rank Ocarina of Time as like a top tier Zelda game. It's still an amazing game. And I think it's highly important to the history of Zelda. But I also think we've gotten this game re-released so many times. Like, Seriously, it's gotten so many re-releases thanks to Virtual Console, the Ocarina of Time 3D, you know, quote unquote remake. Like we have had a lot of re-releases of Ocarina of Time. We've only had one of Twilight Princess in Twilight Princess HD. We've only had one of the Wind Waker in Wind Waker HD, uh, and those are Wii U games, so just easy choices for a port. But we've had none for Skyward Sword. It's just been kind of lost on the Wii. Released in 2010. Yeah, it sold okay, like 4 million copies, kind of like the Wind Waker originally did. But it's just been kind of lost to time. I think there's a lot of people today that have played Breath of the Wild, which, by the way, Breath of the Wild is almost at 20 million, probably over 20 million in sales after the holidays, on Switch alone, by the way. It's already over if you include Wii U in. I think there's a lot of Zelda fans today that have never played Skyward Sword that might appreciate going back uh, to that blast from the past. Now, you can say the same thing for Ocarina of Time, the same thing for Majora's Mask, the same thing for A Link to the Past. Heck, maybe even A Link Between Worlds on 3DS. Like, there's a lot of different ways you can do it. And the Zelda series has been kind of split into two distinct ways of doing things. And we saw this with the Link's Awakening, you know, remake or remastering or whatever you want to call that on Switch, where there's basically top-down Zelda and then full-blown 3D Zelda. And you got to be careful about 3D Zelda because like, you could argue Link Between Worlds, Link's Awakening on Switch are 3D, but they're top-down style games. So I kind of distinct them between like that and you can't even say home console because of Four Swords Adventures being on GameCube. So I think that uh, there should be two collection packs, in my opinion. You should have the... Legend of Zelda, 3D All-Stars, 35th Anniversary Pack, whatever. Now, I think a second pack should come in that focuses on top-down games, except it should be more than three. Because people value top-down games at a smaller value, it should be five games. So I think you should have the original Legend of Zelda in there. I think you should have Link's Awakening in there. Uh, I think you should have the uh, A Link to the Past in there. So those three old-school games. I think you should throw Minish Cap in there. And then... You know, you want to go a little bit postmodern, but not too far. Uh, and I could argue that something like, I don't know, Spirit Tracks or probably the more popular Phantom Hourglass should be included as well. That's five top-down Zelda games in one package that they could probably sell for 60 bucks. Uh, what could they do to those games to make them better today? Obviously, HD, the sprite work. Um, at least do, you know, emulation HD of it, uh, maybe even widescreen them if they can. But yeah, I, I honestly think that that would be cool to see two Zelda collectors, because I think you need two Zelda. You can't just focus on the 3D Zelda games only and forget the entire history of top-down Zelda. Should be two different collection packs. Now, I would like it to all be in one, of course. Wouldn't it be cool if you got like the three pillar, like 3D Zelda games, and then you got five of those classics underneath it all? I just don't think that's going to happen. I think Nintendo values the IP way too highly to offer what essentially becomes eight games in one package. Uh, so doing the, doing the whole Mario 3D All-Stars route uh, and then doing like a 2D or top-down All-Stars route uh, is something that I really hope they imagine or attempt to do. Um, I want to know, though, what three games you think should be in this collection pack. Because I could talk all day about, oh, we can swap out a game for Majora's Mask. We could swap out a game uh, for something else entirely. Maybe they're not going to split it up. So then you feel like A Link to the Past is too important and needs to be in this collection. What three Zelda games do you think? Do you think it's going to be three? I guess we'll start there. Do you think it's going to be three, two, Less than that, is it going to be individual games re-released, HD remastered, Defendant of Edition style, sort of like Xenoblade Chronicles? Or are we looking at a 3D All-Stars collection and what games would you like to see in it? Uh, do you think we're even going to get a collection this year? Or do you think Nintendo's going to somehow ignore the 35th anniversary of Zelda? After all, they very well could. There's no guarantee Nintendo's going to do anything. In fact, there technically hasn't been a single legitimate um, verified sourced rumor out there stating we're going to get anything Zelda related this year. So at this point, it's all speculation. This isn't even like the Switch Pro where we've had rumors and rumblings for a while. We haven't heard anything. We're just guessing that this is going to happen because they went all out for the 25th anniversary and the 20th anniversary. So why wouldn't they go all and the 30th? So why wouldn't they go all out for the 35th? Nintendo has a history these every five years that have been going all out for Zelda. That's kind of what we're pulling on here and hoping that this ultimately leads to something magical happening for us Zelda fans here in 
2021. So let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Uh, we can get into other things with the 35th anniversary at a later date, other aspects we feel like they should cover from Breath of the Wild 2 to um, a Zelda 35 or, or whatever the case might be. For now, I'm focusing just on whatever collection pack they're going to release and what you guys want. All right, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, I am Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.